Today, we're going to talk about the convergence of AI and cyber during an AI revolution. Spoiler alert, it is all about AI security. So securing your use of AI as well as AI for security. Last month, we got through Gartner's IT symposium and the message was clear, adopt AI or get left behind. As you see here, 94% of execs say that AI is critical to their company's success over the next five years, but 70% of CIOs agree that security is their number one AI-related responsibility. In a Harvard Business School Wharton and Sloan study, we saw that there was a 40% productivity gain with the use of generative AI within the bounds of its capabilities. This workplace optimization is incredibly valuable and will completely change the way employees do their jobs. In an enterprise AI study, we saw that 56% of the employees admitted to using generative AI on the job, but only 26% of their companies had a policy on the use of AI. So as you can see, if your organization is not adopting the use of AI itself, your employees may be doing it on your behalf. Next, we're going to talk about securing the use of AI within your organization as your organization goes on in the AI adoption journey. As we came off the UK Safety Summit last month, it was clear that security is probably the biggest component of reliably and safely incorporating the use of AI. This is specifically with data privacy, control, and trust, and where security, explainability, and transparency are critical to the safe use of AI. It's critical that CISOs and their security teams are involved in the beginning of an AI adoption journey. It's their responsibility to ensure the safe use of AI. And I know that AI can sound overwhelming and all the security practitioners on this call want to run away from it as fast as possible, but it just needs to be secured like any other technologies that is integrated into your tech stack. In the simplest of terms, AI is two things. It's data and models and algorithms, which are, those are just mathematical equations and technical computations on the data itself. Both of these elements need to be secured like anything else in your environment. So just consider it an expansion of your attack surface or your digital estate, and it needs to be covered with traditional cybersecurity principles. We need to extend your visibility, continuous monitoring, detection, hopefully autonomous response, and good principles like access control.